Hi everyone, I'm Costa, and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a parallax effect inside Framer. Actually I'm gonna show you three methods and the last one is my favorite one. So let's get started. First let me explain you what's going on in here. There is this wrapper called website and it contains two sections. The first section is the hero section and the second one is an empty section with some text. Alright, the most important one is the hero section, let's open it up and in here we have a container. The container contains a text and a navbar. Outside the container we have a grass image, that is the image that we are gonna add the parallax effect and the other images are two clouds. These two animate on loop, so when we preview this, as you can see, they beautifully animate outside the hero section. Okay, now select the grass image and go to effects and click on scroll transform. This is the first method. Now select section and view and right here it says no section. So this is because we need first to select the hero section and go to scroll section and add a name. I will call this scroll. Now go back to the grass image, click on transform and now you can select the scroll section. Now click on effect and type in one and here one as well. We don't want this image to scale in or its opacity to be affected. So therefore we need to change that to one. Go to effect two and in here you need to play with the offset. So type in minus 140 and let's preview and see how it looks. This looks great, but I don't really like it because it is way too instant, you know? So basically we can maybe change this in here, like the transition, but again, I, I don't want to spend time on this one because I don't really like this method. So let's move to the second method, which is way better than the first one. In here, you just keep everything the way it was, just change this to minus 200 and let's preview this one. Yeah, this one looks way better in my opinion. It's just that we need to maybe add minus 250. Now let me show you my favorite method, which is also the simplest one. Let's close this effect and then click again on effects and then click on scroll speed. And in here you can play with the speed. So basically what this does, it makes this image move faster when you scroll. Let's say we have 200% speed. However, we have this problem right here. You see, this looks great, but we have this problem right here and we need to change that. How can we do that? Well, by adjusting the speed percentage. So let's make it 135 and I know that 135 works well because I tried it before. So yeah, as you can see, this one looks much better. And it's also very simple. You don't have to do anything, just play with the speed and that's it. And there is another method that you can use actually where you can add a sticky position to the text. However, in this video, I'm not going to show you that because it's a completely different method and maybe I'm going to show it in a future video. Thank you much for watching guys. See you next time.